Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the Drakthir Visage form, which is the mortal form, and all of the customization options for the male and female version of this form. Now if you're interested in the dragon customizations, I do have a video right now that I just put up, uh, so if you want to check out what the dragon form looks like, I'll leave a link for that video in the top right of the video right now, or in the description below. But before we jump into all of that guys, just want to shout out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash mrgm. If you want to see me streaming Dragonfly Alpha Beta, Wrathlich King Beta, or any sort of World of Warcraft, I'm over on twitch.tv slash mrgm every single day. Right, so yes, the Visage form, the human form or the mortal form for the Drakthir. Uh, this form is pretty darn cool and as you can tell it, it does use the rigging of the Blood Elf model and the female model uses the rigging of a human female, but there is a ton of customization options uh, which we're going to take a look at today, which do make it pretty unique from their Blood Elf and human counterparts. Uh, this form as well, you do do a couple of moves in combat, but for the majority of the time you will be in the dragon form uh, doing a lot of your combat but this is a form you will use while mounted or doing kind of regular things. It does kind of switch between them quite often, so you will see this form quite a lot. And of course, this is where you're going to see a lot of your transmog options. So let's just jump into it with the male form. This is the male visage form right here. As I said, does use the blood elf uh, kind of rigging, uh, as you can tell. So let's start off with skin color. As you can see, there are eight options for the visage form for the male. Uh, nothing too wild, really, just kind of standard uh, skin color forms. Now, it does look like the model here is a little bit higher res uh, than its Blood Elf counterpart. At least it looks it in certain angles and things like that. So yeah, definitely a bit of an upgrade to the Blood Elf model there. Uh, as for faces, there are nine options for the faces. Uh, for the actual dragon form, there's only three. But as you can see, as we go through these, these are actually unique as well to this model. Uh, the Blood Elf uh, actually have a few more face options which aren't the same as this. So it does look like they have done quite a bit of work in changing it from its Blood Elf. Uh, hairstyles, there are 21 hairstyles for the male visage form. So you have hairless, you have warlocks. Again, this is all different and unique hairstyles from the Blood Elf, which is really cool. So you have warlocks, you have uh, Super Sizen, which I guess is a reference to Super Saiyan, uh, I suppose. Uh, you have Prince, which is a shorter version. I believe this might be one from the Blood Elf, but it does look very familiar. Uh, you have Untamed, which is a bit longer, kind of looks like Raiden from uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. Uh, you have Sideswept, which is awesome. I do love the detail on this hairstyles, actually. They are really, really cool. Uh, you have Short Locks, which is uh, pretty cool, kind of like little dreadlocks. Uh, you have a Mohawk, which is awesome, which actually interacts really nicely with the uh, kind of face scales, which we'll take a look at in a little bit. Uh, you have Quiff, as you can see, like a little pointy thing, again, kind of shaved on the sides. You have Spiky. Uh, I believe this might be taken for the Blood Elf, or at least it looks very, very similar from the Blood Elf. Uh, you have Toes Lead. Yeah, I, d I definitely don't think that's how it's pronounced, but there you go. You have this one here, which is really nice. Uh, you have Knot, which is a little uh, knot at the back there. You have Tied Back, which is a nice long one. You do have this little uh, emblem as well. This is something you can turn off and on with the hair decoration uh, option. That's not available for all hairstyles, uh, but you can turn that off and on. As you can see there, different ones have different uh, kind of things. So you have a little top knot here, like a little uh, shaved thing with a top knot. Uh, you have Dreadlocks, which is awesome, like Tied Back. Uh, looks amazing. You have Nomad, again, kind of a standard hair. You have Mane, which uh, kind of looks like the hairstyle of uh, Beast from Beauty and the Beast when he's in his human form. I guess that's a bit of a random deep cut, but yeah, you have Mane, which is a really long hairstyle there. Uh, you have Braided, again, another long one with a braid on the back and a bit of hair decoration at the top, which is really cool. Uh, Wavy, which is uh, super cool. Uh, ponytail, again, like a little ponytail down the bottom there. Uh, and short. Now the best thing about these hairstyles, and this is uh, for the female as well, is they actually have two different colorations. So if we were to look at Wavy for example here, uh, you have the hair colors here, you have 31 hair colors available. Now as you can see, when I'm flicking between them, there are two different ways you can have your hair. So you can have kind of one color and then you have a hair highlight color where you can get this awesome kind of gradient effect and that does affect every single hair color. Now obviously if you do want the same hair color across the board, uh, that's something you can do, uh, but it does look like the hair color is 31 options whereas the hair highlights is 18. So yeah, pretty interesting there. A bit weird that they didn't just choose, you know, the same, but you can click none, uh, which does keep it at one specific hair color. But I do love this highlight thing, and I hope this is something we see on other races in the future. 
Uh, it's such a cool effect. It is really, really nice. And I think like, you know, in the announcement, I think they were talking about it. And yeah, I'm, I'm really do hope this is something we do see going forward uh, for other races, because this really does add an extra level of uniqueness uh, to your uh, drag there. So as I said, there are 31 options uh, four colorations and essentially what it is it's a rogues gallery of every hair color of every race that exists in world of warcraft it is absolutely wild uh, the amount of variation you can have here uh, and yeah there is just so many different colors to choose from uh, in regards to hair color for your drag there and, and as i said there are 18 different highlight colors as well uh, to add that extra level of uniqueness to your drag there evoker so as i said hair decoration that is something that uh, it not all the hair colors have, but yeah, it's just this little chain here uh, that you can get. And that goes uh, differently between uh, different hairstyles as well, as you can see. And that can be toggled on or off. Uh, for horn styles, you have 20 horn styles. Now, uh, in the Drag the Dragon video, I mentioned this, uh, but I'm going to mention it again. This is actually all of the exact same horns which are available for the uh, dragon model. So you can make your model uh, pretty much exactly the same as your dragon in regards to the horn styles and colorations, uh, but it is uh, completely unique. So the changes I make here do not change the drag there. I wouldn't mind an option to actually make it so they do kind of go across. Uh, but uh, as I said, that, that is something you can change uniquely. So you can have one horn style for your visage form and another horn style for your uh, drag there. So if we go through a couple of these here, so we have swept, we have sleek, Coiled, uh, ridged, sickle, plated, thorns, curled, curved, hook, bolt, like lightning bolts, subtle, low stag, high stag, broken, which is a broken horn there, which is awesome, uh, arched, which is massive, like really makes a character really big, uh, grand, which is even bigger, jagged, and scythe, as you can see. You can actually choose the color of your horns as well. This is something that the dragon form also does have uh, with the exact same 15 options to be able to choose your horn color, uh, including blue and kind of maroon and green. Uh, so you could definitely get some pretty interesting combinations, especially with the kind of unique hair colors as well. So that's a few of the face options. Uh, we have a few more face options as well for the drag there. We have horn jewelry. So you have none, you have guard, you have bands and you have chains. And this is something you can actually change the color of as well later on in the customization. Uh, you have a headdress, you have four options for that. So you have none, you have chain, you have circlet, and you have sigil, uh, if you wanna have that on your head there. Uh, very similar to some of the other options that were added in Shadowlands. You have scale patterns, so you can have none, you can have sear, you can have singe, you can have scorch, or you can have smolder. Now this is 3D, as you can see, it does kind of bulge out the face there at the front, uh, which is really, really cool. I do love that a lot. And that is something you can change the color of as well, uh, which we'll take a look at in a sec. But yeah, you also have scale marking, so you have none, uh, myth and wrath. Uh, but if you do do none on the scale pattern, you can actually choose eyebrows. So yeah, you don't have the option of eyebrows if you do have a scale pattern as that kind of takes over eyebrows as such, uh, as you can see. But yeah, scale color, there are 15 options. Uh, this does change it throughout the entire body here, as you can see. A massive amount of customization in regards to kind of how you can make your drag the visage form look. Uh, but yeah, definitely a lot of bright colors, a lot of bright and awesome colors, and you can make it match across the board or you can make it not match, uh, which makes it super unique there. There's also a mustache option, so you can have none, you can have thin or you can have thick, as you can see. So you can have a little uh, little stash there if you'd like it. And a beard option as well. So you have none, you have a goatee, you have a pointed beard, or you can have a full beard. Now, as you can see as well, this is affected by the highlight color, uh, as you can see. So this, as you change this around, this does actually affect that, which is really cool to see. So yeah, that is all of the kind of face and beard options. Uh, moving into eyes now, you can have eyesight. So you, this is an option which was on the dragon form as well. Uh, you can choose to be blind in uh, both eyes or right eye or left eye, uh, or just be completely uh, be able to see. Uh, another eye color option as well. So you have 15 of these to choose from. As you can see, the eyes are different. They're kind of like uh, reptilian type eyes, which are really, really cool. And they look absolutely wonderful on this model. But yeah, lots of options to choose there as well. Uh, ears, this is another option. So you can choose long, uh, you can choose medium, or you can choose short. This is an option which was added to the Blood Elves in uh, Shadowlands, I believe. You can have earrings as well. So there's nine options for that. So you can have razor tip, lance tip, sigil, mixed, barbed, cuffed, thorn, and stake. So yeah, lots of options for the earrings. Uh, there's actually a nose option here. So you can see it's quite flat. 
Uh, you can actually have a bigger nose or you can have a flat nose, two different options there available for the nose. That is a massive change in the nose and uh, I believe this is the first race to actually have a nose option like that, so that's really cool to see. Uh, and, and as mentioned, you can choose the jewelry color. As you can see, that changes the jewelry color of the horns uh, with different gem colors and whatnot. And there are five of those to choose from. And finally, this is a world first or a first for at least a race in World of Warcraft. Uh, you can choose to change the underwear. Yep, that's uh, that's actually a thing. So they have this chest strap, as you can see. This is a 3D chest strap. Uh, this does go over gear as well. I'm not sure how it interacts with 3D chest plates. Uh, but this does go over kind of gear, so any sort of uh, transmog you have on, it will go over that, which actually looks pretty cool, all really bad depending on the chest piece. Uh, you can also choose to have a top underneath, as you can see, so you can have uh, none or this uh, that one there. Um, you can also choose the color of your underwear as well, there are five options to choose from there. Uh, and the bottoms, you can either have kind of the pants or you can have kind of the boxer look if you like. Uh, you can also choose the body scales as well, so you have none. You can have Cinder, you can have Smoke, Oath, and Wrath, which is cool. So you can have, uh, you know, varied amounts of scales across your body if you'd like to have that, which I think is awesome as a customization option. So yeah, that is all the male options. Uh, there is a lot. There is a lot of male options. So yeah, there's even more female options. So let's jump into the Drakthir Visage female model and take a look at some of their options. Okay, so this is the Drakthir female model. As mentioned, it does use the rigging of the human female. Uh, just to note, I know a lot of people are going to be curious, they do dance like the human female, and the male does dance like the Blood Elf male. Uh, hopefully they do change that. This is the model for the mortal form of the Drakthir female. So let's take a look at some of the options. Uh, so skin color, you have the same eight options that we did see on the male form. As I said, it does seem a little bit more high res. Uh, than its human counterpart. Maybe I'm wrong there, but let me know in the comments. But yeah, I definitely think it looks a little bit different uh, to the human female, at least. Uh, face options, you have nine options to choose from, which really do change the shape and look of the face quite a bit, which is really cool to see. Uh, also featuring a little bit of makeup as well, as you can see on the eyes as well as we scroll through. But I do like the way that the face does change uh, completely uh, with the model there. So you have nine options to choose from there. Hairstyles, we have 21 options to choose from, all unique, all new, pretty much. Uh, so you have hairless, you have warlocks, uh, which is really cool. You have wavy, which is awesome. This works exactly the same as the male form, so you do have highlight colors as well, so you can choose that two-tone color uh, to make it super unique and awesome. Like, look at that, like just randomly choosing two already looks fantastic, uh, and that is so, so cool. So as we go through them, we have wavy, we have pixie, uh, we have uh, Untamed, we have Full Tail, which is like a really big uh, kind of hairstyle there. Uh, we have a small bob, we have a mohawk, which I love. I absolutely love that, especially with the two-tone. Uh, we have thick braids, as you can see, that goes all the way down the bottom there. Again, hair decoration does feature once again uh, with chains and gems and things like that. But that is not available for all hairstyles, uh, as you can see. So you have Spiky, you have Half Knot, which is kind of cute. You got a little uh, knot at the top there. You have a bun at the back, uh, Nomad, which I think is nice, uh, Ponytail, so you have a ponytail at the back, which is awesome. Again, these are all unique hairstyles, which I really do like. I hope they do move some of these to the human uh, or blood elves, because they are they are really cool. Uh, you have a uh, kind of dreadlock bun there, which is awesome. I love how it looks uh, with the horns. That is such a cool look. Uh, you have a lock knot. You have a undercut, which is awesome. There you go. You have the whole side uh, shaved off there. And uh, yeah, that is such a cool look, and you can really, uh, really make it look pretty, uh, pretty darn cool. Like, look at this look. That is absolutely fantastic. Uh, you have Ornate, uh, which is awesome. You have Short and Wild Tail, uh, which is, yeah. I love, like, I don't know, it looks like it's got a new kind of texture to the hair as well, which is really unique and uh, to the drag there, which is nice. Uh, and then you have Twin Buns, which again has the hair decoration there as you can see. So yeah, really, really cool look, really cool options for the Drakfir female model. Uh, so yeah, as I said, uh, 31 options for hair color, the same as the male, uh, with a lot of uniqueness in regards to being able to do that two-tone sort of gradient, which yeah, again, any combination just looks absolutely fantastic. And I can't wait to see the creativity that people come up with, with, you know, 21 hairstyles, 31 hair colors, and 18 highlights. Like, it's actually nuts, including, you know, hair decorations as well. Uh, so for horns, it's a very similar story to the male and the dragon model. So you do have the 20 options uh, which were mentioned previously. So you have uh, swept, you have sleek, coiled, ridge, sickled, plated, thorns, curled, curved, hook, bolt, subtle, low stag, high stag, 
broken, arched, jagged, and scythe. And as I said, you can use none as well. So if you really don't want horns on your uh, on your visage form, that is an option that you can have, which I think is really cool. So yeah, moving into some more head options, of course. So you have headdress, so you have none. You have the option to have a sigil, as you can see in the middle there, uh, chain, and tiara, which I think looks really, really cool. And again, that's something that can be customizable and changed in color uh, later on down the line, which is nice to see. Uh, eyesight, so again, similar to the male, you can be blind in both eyes or blind in one eye or whatever you like, which is kind of nice. Uh, eye color, again, similar story to the male, lots of variety here, uh, which looks really cool with those reptilian eyes, really making it look so different to that human uh, female form. Uh, scale pattern, once again, similar to what we saw before with the male. Uh, lots of cool little options here. So you have none, you have sear, singe, scorch, and smolder. Again, kind of making it a little bit cooler uh, in regards to your silhouette of your character and really changing up the style of your thing. Once again, you do have the option to change these scales as well out of 15 extremely unique and different things. So yeah, just the massive amount of combinations for these visage forms is just so... So fun. I think people are going to spend absolutely hours changing their form around and uh, I can't wait to see what people come up with. So that's the majority of kind of the scale options there. Uh, we also have some more head options here. So ears, they do have elf ears. Uh, so much like the male, you can use uh, long, medium or short if you'd like to do that. Uh, again, with earrings, you have none. You have sigil, mixed, barbed, thorn and stake, which is uh, similar to the male. Uh, and just like the male as well, you have the option to have a squish nose if you like. So you can have a little little button nose, or you can have a larger nose if you like, which is cool. There's also a chin option. Yeah, you can have a chin option. So you can have uh, kind of a regular chin, or you can have a scaly chin, which again does change color when you change that scale color. So it does add an extra little uniqueness to your chin, and yeah, it kind of adds like a little bit of texture uh, to it, which is really cool. Uh, you also have necklace options, uh, which are for the female. So you have thorn, you have gem, and you have shard, which do go over gear, I believe, similar to other customization options. And as mentioned, there are five different options for your jewelry, which does change the kind of color of tiara, earrings, and necklace. And finally, much like the male, you can change the color and shape of your underwear. Yep, so you have underclothes top. So you have one, two, three, and four which is really cool. I said, I, I think this is something they just should definitely add to the other characters as well. I think this is such a cool little option. Uh, you can choose to have two different styles here as well on your bottoms, as you can see. Uh, you can choose the color of it as well, much like the male. Uh, five different options to choose from to match your scales or gear or anything like that. Uh, and of course, you have the option to change your scales across the board. So you have Cinder, Smoke, Oath and Wrath. And again, that is changeable through the scale color option, which is nice to see. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That is the options for the male and female visage form. There is tons to choose from. There is absolutely tons to choose from. With the visage form and the dragon form, you're going to be in the character create screen for a very, very long time. If you're interested in looking at the dragon form customizations, I have a video right now, uh, which I'll leave a link in the description so you can check that out. Uh, but this is the mortal form. This is a form that you will be seeing quite a lot. As mentioned, uh, some of the spells are done in this form as well as flying. Um, so yeah, there you go. Let me know down below what you think of the visage form, the mortal form for the drag there. I really like it. I do like the customization. I do hope they add some custom animations for these models uh, so they're not just kind of like you know human female and blood elf male i hope they do kind of go a little bit further with it and make them very different from their kind of rigging counterparts but i do think the customization options are fantastic and definitely add a massive level of uniqueness to the race so yeah guys thank you very much for watching before i go i'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons youtube channel members and twitch subs you guys are awesome and if you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways links are down below so leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. I've also got a partner Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And as I said, I'm now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to see me streaming World of Warcraft, Dragonfly Alpha Beta, Wrath Lich King Beta, and more, I'm over on twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.